Hello, my friends. I am so excited to be here with you today, and I cannot wait to get it started. We're going to continue learning all about dinosaurs. But before we get started, we're going to do our letter song. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, N, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Sing with me. Did you know that a person who discovers dinosaur bones is called a paleontologist? That's a super big word, isn't it? A paleontologist. And this week, we're going to learn about dinosaur bones and dinosaurs. So I wanted to show you some pictures of dinosaur bones. Are you ready? Here's one I found. Look at that. Some of the bones are pointy and some are long and some are short. And then I have another one too. Oh, here's a triceratops. And it's this one. Do you see how the bones are put together to make the dinosaurs? Because dinosaurs are extinct now, which means that they're no longer living on the earth. But we can learn all about them and what they look like and what they everything about them through their bones. So small group today, you get to make your own bone at home. How cool is that gonna be? Your own dinosaur bones. Before we get started though, with that, we have to read our story. Okay, here it is. It's called Dinosaurs Roar. And this is written by Paul and Henrietta Stickland. We have the front cover. Oh, look at his big red tongue. And the back cover, wait, that dinosaur looks like he's taking a nap. Do you ever take naps? Sometimes I do, but not very often. Dinosaurs roar. Dinosaur squeak. Dinosaur fierce. Ooh, we talked about this last week. Fierce means like strong and brave and kind of scary. Can you show me your fierce face? <sighs> Dinosaur meek. When you're meek, that means you're kind of shy or scared a little bit. Sometimes I'm pretty meek. Dinosaurs fast. Can you move your feet super, super fast? Dinosaur slow. Dinosaur above the rock and dinosaur below the rock. Look, that guy's hiding. Can you put your hand above your head? Above. Can you put your hand below your chin? Hmm. Dinosaur weak. Dinosaur strong. Whoa, he's lifting up his feet. Way up high. He mu and showing his muscles on his arm. Can you show your muscles? Dinosaur short. Or very, very long. Dinosaur fat. Oh. Or dinosaur tiny. Look at that little guy way over there. Dinosaur clean. Or dinosaur, ew, he's really slimy or dirty, isn't he? Aw, dinosaur sweet. When you're sweet, that means you're really kind. Or dinosaur grumpy. This is my grumpy face. Can I see your grumpy face? Dinosaur spiky. When something's spiky, it means they're sharp. Or dinosaur lumpy. Lumpy is kind of another word for bumpy. Hmm, lumpy and bumpy, that rhymes. All sorts of dinosaurs eating their lunch. 
If you look closely, you see that some are eating their plants where they are herbivores and some <gasps> are trying to eat animals which makes them a carnivore and some might be eating both animals and plants which makes them an omnivore. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. Um, 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 um. The end. Bum, 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 bum. So your challenge letter today is the same letter that's in our story, and it goes with roar. Makes that err sound, or it goes for rocket or rain. It's the letter R. So to make a letter R, you make a line down, make a curve, and another line. Let's try it. R for rocket, rain, roar. Ready? Line down, then a curve, and a line. Letter R. So today, we get to make dinosaur bones and figure out how to build a dinosaur using what we're going to use for bones. And maybe you're going to make one that has little bones and long bones. Or maybe you'll make one that has a super long neck and a long skinny tail. Or maybe you're going to make one that has a lot of spikes or plates on its back. I cannot wait to find out how you make your dinosaur skeletons so that we can pretend that we are paleontologists today. But before we go, we have to sing our good morning song. Are you ready? Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello, my friends. Hello to you. And I hope you have an absolutely marvelous day. Bye.